Hello, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the Maker Behind Stamp DF. I'm sorry I'm late, but my stomach was rumbling louder than the alarm clock on my phone. Just kidding. I had to have dinner. I have decided I'm not eating after 8 p.m., and if I don't eat before I go live, then I just won't be eating tonight, and that was not going to happen. So, I hope that everyone is having a wonderful week. Pull this up on my iPad here. I've got some fun projects designed. Hi, Colleen. Whew. Take a breath before I forget because I'm terrible for that. I talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and then it's like, oh. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Angela. Okay, just gonna pull this up. I'll turn my volume down first. Has everyone had a chance to look at the new mini catalog? Where am I? Looking for last week's, not today. Hi, Feline. Have you placed your orders with the new catalog? Hi, Pam. Who has this fun stamp set? Press on in case you can't read backwards. Hi, Kim. Hi, Crystal. Excuse me, a super fun, thank you, Pam. Um, before I give away last week's prize, I just wanna show you this is a super fun stamp set. There's no coordinating dies or punch, but this is in the new catalog and it's so cute. Even for someone who doesn't drink coffee. This girl right here doesn't drink coffee. It'd be great for coffee, tea, hot chocolate, so many great things. Thank you, Linda. Hi, Cindy. Thank you everyone for sharing. Uh, if you share this, come back and tell me that you've shared. You will be eligible to win next week's prize. And I think, I'm just looking in my drawer here, we're going to grab, it'll be a little ribbon sampler next week. I've got, there was one share for my ribbons. Cindy, welcome to the No Coffee group. It's a small group, me thinks. Hi, Linda. Okay, so I had one person that didn't opt in for the ribbon share, so I have a bunch of the current ribbons. They are all labeled. Oh, that one's supposed to have some stamping on it, so we'll have to fix that before I draw for next week. But they all have the name, the product number, the price. So that will be the prize for sharing this week. The prize for sharing last week's is the ink pad and marker storage. So if I just flip this for a second, this little setup I have here, one set, one, two, three, four, five. So this set here holds five ink pads, five markers. That is what's in this box. I don't want to open it because it's going to be a pain to get it back in. But Melanie is the lucky winner. So I will message you. I did not want to have to mail this, so I'm glad it's someone local. Uh, I should clarify, Melanie Fair is the winner. So I am gonna flip this around because I wanna show you, I've got two projects designed with this coffee set. Thank you, Linda. Hi, Randy. Uh, two products, projects designed with, I, I don't wanna show you those yet, with this press-on set and I want to go through a couple of swaps. So I thought, <laughs> Melanie, I'm sorry. I know it was confusing when I, uh, when I said that. I know that I have more than one Melanie, and I know that you have your full Stampin' Storage set up, so I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> okay, let me flip this around. That's the right spelling, Feline. Uh, sorry, moving super fast. <laughs> Move this down so that I'm not crafting out of the screen, because how many times has that happened now? Pardon my fingers here. Move this right down. So does everyone have their copy? Oh, great, Colleen, I'm so glad. Thank you, Linda. Um, does everyone have their copy of the new catalog? Have you drooled? Have you gone near bankrupt? I'm almost there. Now, I, I do have my, more than my fair share of my wish list, but there's still a few things in there that I don't have that I really, really want. So I'm not going to go page by page. And I, you know, I thought about doing a walkthrough yesterday and I'm like, eh, there's so many people doing walkthroughs and I knew I would be live with you tonight. So 
I wanted to wait until my shares arrived, which was today, and I'll show you a couple of projects along the way. I think all my cards from last week are gone, so I can't even show you those. But tonight's projects are also going to be a giveaway, so if you... I think we're going to do it differently. I don't think I'm going to say... If you want these, just comment because I think they're going to go pretty quickly. I'm going to have it, and I'm sorry for my U.S. peeps, but I'm going to have it where if you place an order with me this week, you will get one of the the projects I'm making tonight. Yes, Donna, I'm with you. Okay, so we're going to go right past the kits. If you know me at all, you know I don't love kits. I love the designing process of it. I don't love putting something together. I love designing kits for people to make. I don't enjoy doing them myself. Uh, funny, there was nothing in this bundle, and I don't have this one yet because I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> Insert irony here, because I love this one. I will get this at some point, I just don't have it yet. But these embossing folders, if you haven't uh, thought of those yet, they're fantastic. I have, uh, this one's going in my next order. Love this one. I, the Noel sold me on that. Hello, my other Auntie Susan. Uh, this one I have, and I have just a very simple design for this. This is the bow gift bow builder. It's right in front of me. Gift bow builder punch. So this is just a very simple one using, um, I believe it's Tis the Season DSP. And just a punch and some ribbon and a tag. Super cute, super easy. Hello. Hi, Denny. Thank you for sharing. This is going in my next order. I've held off as long as I possibly can on this one. It's gorgeous. I have a few great ideas, I hope. Uh, there was only one with this bundle, but if you saw... Hold on two seconds. I'll be right back because I have a card I want to show you that uses this one. So I lied. I do have a couple left from last week. They have to go in the mail yet. But So this is the Poinsettia place. The Poinsettia Petals bundle. It's gorgeous. This is that flocked vellum. It's fantastic. And there are dies within the bundle that will cut the images out. As you can see here. It's, excuse me, it's flocked. It's like velvet. It's, oh. It's dreamy. So this was a swap that I received using that. This, if you don't belong to Pretty AF, which is Tiffany, Almeida, and I, we collaborate on that. This was something I shared with them last week. So I'm not going to share a tutorial because you have to belong to that group to be able to get that, but I did want to show it. And Tiffany and I have offered, if you have not been a part of Pretty AF in the past, we are offering it for free in the month of August. So that is open to all of Canada and all of the US. But the only caveat is that if you haven't already been a part of the group, because everyone that joined us in, I wanna say January, they had that month free. So it is $15 a month, US or Canadian. <laughs> and it's worth every penny. We do weekly Facebook Lives, we have Birthday Club, we have creative challenges, prize patrol, it's it's phenomenal. And our team members get that for free. So I just wanted to show you because with that black glitter paper, the poinsettias are, oh, amazing, amazing. Okay, so that is that. I'm not gonna take a ton of time to go through this, but I wanted to show you the ones that I do have samples for. So these fell off my table earlier, so I thought they might be out of order. So this is the Joy, Peace and Joy bundle. Another gooder, love this one. This was another one I did with, I did Christmas in July uh, last Thursday for Pretty AF and oh, fantastic. So these were the few swaps that I got. So with this one, you can stamp it or you can die cut it. When you die cut it, the, the smallest one is just so pretty and dainty. The stamp is a little bit bigger. And then there's this one. Love this one. It's got those bells on it. And then this one. 
So this is the Trimming the Town DSP. Donna, you definitely do. It is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And if you are one of my team members or if you purchase $33 or more in my shop, then you will get the Stamping Society tutorial for free. And we have used that bundle with Triangle this month. So it's win, win, win. And I want to say to any of my customers, past, present, current, please remind me if I don't send you the Stamping Society tutorial because it is free with a purchase and I'm admittedly terrible at remembering. Okay, this one I think might be a sleeper in here, but I created this. My first card had a cinnamon cider fireplace and I really prefer that one to the Whisper White. But this is such a fun set. There's so many little pieces. If you like builder stamp sets and dies, this is gonna be right up your alley. I love it. Totally in love. And then Sweetest Time Bundle. I know one of my team members got this bundle recently and I can't wait to see what she comes up with. And you may have even convinced me to get this. Huh. So here's the swap for this card. So there's the candles, there's uh, candy cane, holly, and these pieces are interlocking. So you could, this one's embossed and it's just gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. But you can also, so if you die cut it with the red, die cut it with another color and then you can interlock all these pieces. I would highly suggest, excuse me, that's what happens when you scarf down your food. Um, I would highly suggest adhesive sheets for that. But isn't this gorgeous? It's got sweet little sentiments. Uh, so the tree angle, and I can't show you any samples because I've mailed them all, uh, but this is the other half of the Stamping Society this month, and they are so stinking cute. The only tree that I haven't made yet is this little poinsettia. So that will be next. And that little tree trunk is just too cute. These two are coming in my order tomorrow. Uh, during the demonstrator pre-order period, I, <laughs> silly, I decided to do a bingo. Great, except that I was limited to how many I could order of everything. So when I ordered these as prizes for my bingo, it meant I couldn't keep them. So I almost cried when I mailed this one off. <laughs> but here is a cute little card. I should open this one because it's, uh, I was watching another demos live and she was part of the same swap so I saw how this one works and you need to see it. So it's the little gnome and I can't remember what this is called. I wanted to say a wiper card but I know that's not it and I know Jennifer McGuire does. She has a tutorial on how to make these cards. That's peekaboo window maybe but it's so sweet. That shouldn't be popped down but isn't that cute with the little gnome? Just love it. And I wanted to show you these swaps because these are ideas that I wouldn't have thought of. And when I did the annual catalog swap, I didn't think to show you all of them. But the holiday catalog or the, the now August to December mini catalog is only around for so long. So this is the Don't Stop Believing. Can't wait to work with that one. And this one, sadly, Frosty's first hot cocoa turned out to be his last. How cute would that be with tonight's stamp set? Right, and this little elf all tied up in Christmas bulbs. Love it, love it. And then don't get your tinsel in a tangle. This stamp set is right up my alley with the little puns. So trimming the town is next. And if you don't follow my page or Tiffany's page, yes you do Melanie, you need to have some crafting time and we'll I'll bring our holiday stamps so we can use them all. Huh. If you don't follow my page, you may not have seen that this is the creativity delivered for the month of August. So Tiffany and I designed two cards each, or two projects each. You get all of the supplies to make two of each, so you're getting the supplies to make eight projects. Uh, you get a half a pack of the DSP, you're getting, um, uh, to be honest, I don't know how may, if you're getting a full pack of these or a half pack of these, but what we have come up with, if I don't say, they're amazing. If I do say so myself is what I was trying to say. And this is a making a different stamp set. I know I've mentioned this, like I probably sound like a broken record. Um, 
Aw, oh, Susan, yeah, you will need those. Everyone's going to need those ones. Um, th so this is a making a difference one. So in Canada, for every one of these stamp sets sold, uh, Stampin' Up! will donate $4 Canadian to charities that are devoted to adoption, foster care, and infertility. So it's a win-win. I mean, it's the best set and the dies are to die for. Pardon the pun. But it's all these cute little houses and a little beetle and trees. And then look at this little like snowscape. How cute is that? And I do have one card that was very simple, like case of the catalog. That just happens to be here. So I die cut one of the stitched ovals and then I just did my, well, I did my treescape, then used the stitched oval and then the house. Hi, Marilyn. Okay, onward. And with Creativity Delivered, uh, you always have the option to add the bundle on. You're definitely going to need the bundle for the designs that we've done. Okay, next, Mary Moose. So, oh, this was the card for the swap. And just wait till you see what Tiffany and I have come up with. Oh, this is the Mary Moose. So this is a returning fave from last year. Super cute with that buffalo plaid. And then this one, this one, this one, this one. I love this one. I had to give my copy away as a bingo prize. Almost cried on that one too. This is all holiday movie um, quotes, I guess. Maybe Christmas means, perhaps means a little bit more. I'm not going to read them all, but this swap card is so simple, but stunning, isn't it? It's crumb cake with that dainty diamonds embossing folder which and I think until you see it in person I don't know it's it's not much and then you see it in person it's like whoop gotta have it but I just love how simple this is love it love it love it and Tiffany and I have some exciting news coming uh, stay tuned I'm hoping that it will be finalized tonight and we'll invite you to the event and oh it's gonna be so much fun and this is part of it wonder of the season here's the swap card and i'm telling you i did not give this a second thought i mean i have the bells i don't have the stamp set yet because again pre-order limits but the bells are fantastic and i heard a demonstrator say i know everyone is wondering what the heck these things are well apparently each one of them fits the middle of a bell so I guess you can put an opening there. What we had been told was um, that it was kind of the vibration from the bell ringing. But these are fantastic. Okay, so this card, I think, has sold me on this bundle. Isn't that beautiful? The stitching and the tag, the stitching on that little, not scallop, but like pinked banner. Oh, love it. So that is those two sets. And you know, it's funny, we didn't have to sign up for specific items this time. And there's a very good mix. There are some that are missing, but I think we've got a very good mix considering that people were just free to choose whatever they wanted. Uh, there's nothing for this bundle. This bundle sells itself. The paper, the... Um, what are these? Embellishments, the embossing folder, just all of it. There was nothing using this one. I, this one's going in my order probably tomorrow. Love this one. It will help you do envelope inserts. You can dress up the back of your envelope. You can certainly do cards with it. It's, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. I think it's because no one's upstairs to tell them to shush. It's playtime. Uh, warm and toasty. Oh, uh, feels like frost, a returning fave. So that was... A design there there wasn't anything using the warm and toasty but yes Linda right um, I know Melanie Lee has been doing a ton with this beautiful stuff so maybe she will share some of it to my page or my group and you can see some of it she's a genius this is going on a wish list for sure more trees and then more kind of snowscapes nothing with that bundle surprisingly and now we get to Gilded Autumn. So it's funny because the Christmas stuff, holiday stuff is always in the front and then it gets back to Autumn and Halloween and it seems kind of backwards, but 
it's the way it works. So, um, Gilded Autumn, there's this one here, and these are three great punches. They're quite big punches, like they're not just little tiny ones. There's the brushed metallic paper, there's these acorns, which weigh a ton, actually. There's this gorgeous ribbon, and this is actually selling above forecast, so get this while you can. I forgot to order mine, and I need more of this copper uh, ribbon. It is phenomenal. And the, what month are we? The August Creativity Without Borders. Kelly and I are using this paper with a stamp set that's coming up. It's gorgeous. Uh, this was my swap card. So this is that metallic ribbon that I'm talking about. And I know you probably can't get a really good glimpse because it's in the clear envelope, but it's metallic and it's beautiful. So that was my swap card. It's a window card that opens to say life is better with you. So I used all the punches and then I used my scan and cut to cut out the pine cones and these tiny little leaves. Uh, this one, let me get to the page. Uh, so that's that bundle with the three punches. This is a returning fave from last year, the ga Gather Together. Autumn Goodness, nothing on that one. I love the picket fence, but I think that would be, I would be getting it for that. I'm not crazy about everything else. This stamp set with this paper is the August Creativity Without Borders. So we're using the stitched leaves. And if you haven't seen this one, this is fantastic. So this lady stamped the leaves and then did the stitching. Isn't that awesome? And then she added the gold one there. So love that. And then this one uses the plaid paper. How sweet are those? Now, the only thing is the leaves are only stitched on the outside. Only the, like the negative has the stitching. The leaves themselves, you can do this stitching, but they don't actually have stitching around the edges. But it's a gorgeous bundle. And I know I've said before, I don't know how many people send autumn cards, but oh my goodness. Stampin' Up! knocks it out of the park with autumn. With everything but autumn. And there's this die in here. And I wish I could show you, but I've designed my projects for Creativity Without Borders. And I use this die and it, oh, let me show you the die. I can't show you my project because, spoiler, but I did die cut all of the pieces when I got them so that I could show them, and then I don't think I did. But this die is so cool. It's stitching, and that's all one die. Like, if you see this piece here, that is this die. And it's funny, the first time I saw it, it made me think, you know when you're um, listening to music and you can see the beat? That's what that reminded me of. That or some kind of chart. <laughs> But this bundle is fantastic. Love of leaves. And there's different fonts in there. I kind of think that's interesting. Okay, and then we've got this Autumn Greetings. And this is another one where I think I would get the dies without the stamp set. Look at this. Look at that little knit border. As, um, as a previous knitter, like this caught my eye immediately and then there's also this die that does this cool little pinked edge so I think I would do the dies for that one I don't need a big autumn bouquet uh, Melanie what would you use it for um, just wait till you see my video to introduce the creativity without borders because it it looks wonderful uh, I do want to do one where it's music where it's like the beat but you'll see. Stay tuned. Uh, this, I don't have. I may get it. May, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, this. This is like one of the stars of the whole catalog. I don't even, every year I say, I'm not doing Halloween. I'm not doing Halloween. Every year I end up doing it in such a rush. This suite, even if you don't love Halloween, the DSP has so many amazing patterns in it that don't have to be Halloween. Like there's, um, I have it. I don't have enough of my clear cases. If you usually print my clear cases for your DSP, whether it be in a clear mount case or a wood mount case, I did just post those for this catalog yesterday. That's stamped AF. 
www.dsp.ca, free download. Uh, but if you look at this DSP, spiders, uh, argyle, I guess, some kind of ornate flourish thing, amazing roses in black. Uh, this one is like Cajun craze in black with spider webs and flowers. Pretty gothic, but then it's got this nice black with a white stripe. Another kind of gothic design with Cajun craze. And then this one, I love this one with these, like they're almost pretty bats. How do you make bats pretty? And then there's this other kind of gothic floral thing. And then it's the same as the Cajun craze, but in black and white. And then this, and this, they're amazing. There isn't one paper in there that I don't love. And I will be putting my DSP things on there. I just haven't had a chance yet. And these iridescent pearls, I'm in love. Love, love, love. And that metallic ribbon. So these are the metallic pearls. I'm just showing you this stuff because I'm in love with it. Yes, it is an outstanding Halloween suite. So these look like an oil spill. <laughs> and then this is the ribbon. And it is so soft, like you could make a nice poofy bow and it's not, like it's so soft. There's no like wire in it to keep it stiff. It's amazing, 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 amazing. And then the black glitter papers on this page. My cobwebs folders coming tomorrow, can't wait. This bundle, I can't remember if I ordered it yesterday or if it's on my next order. Uh, I've got my last call for product shares uh, the deadline we, is this coming Sunday, so if you're looking for DSP, ribbon, and or embellishments, contact me now because once it's gone, it's gone. And it's $131 for a quarter pack of everything. The DSP, the ribbon, the embellishments, everything. You can't go wrong because we don't have that long to use it, right? So we'll get a quarter of it for a fraction of the cost. So this week, Ghoulish Goodies this cute little card so they use the cobwebs folder and then some tags they've got this little spider and then boo eek going all the way down it's so cute <laughs> um i am pleading the fifth megan <laughs> i placed one yesterday because i want my new stamp and cut and emboss machine and i had some items to order tomorrow is my in color club deadline so that order has to go in and then on Sunday, that's the cutoff for product shares, so that order will be going in on Monday. So maybe this is the plaid tidings. This paper is fantastic. This is gonna be coming in another kit class soon. Uh, I don't have anything for those. This one's super cute, it's called turnover. So all of the images in here, you can turn it over and it will fill in the, the like you're stamping it in. You're coloring it all in one fell swoop. Um, the Have a Hoot. Love this set. So it has this amazing. Where are you? It has an amazing die trio. So you can cut these three tags so that you can use them, or you can use it like this where you have some borders. And I used this just recently. Or two cards one of them is right here so I'll show you that one I don't know where the other one is but I used the zoo globe and I just popped this whole thing up using the foam sheets so they make great frames even if you don't love owls this set is a must they've really done some amazing dies this year and we're almost there guys uh, lots to celebrate so this coordinates with the jar punch and there's something for every season. There's hearts, there's stars, leaves, snowflakes, flowers, and that cute little, um, you know when you get like a jar of jam that has that little cloth thing around it? It's got that. Banner Year is another great one. I don't have any swaps for that, but love this one. That's with that new pick a punch, Banners. I don't have this one, but I saw the sweetest project today and I'm so getting this one just to recreate it. It was adorable. Uh, Menagerie mix-up, you've seen me work with that. 
Uh, press on, that's the one we're doing tonight. So that is this card here. And how cute is that? I mean, it's so simple and yet so fantastic. I love it. Okay, and then the Freeze and Fun, that's going on an order soon too. This one uses the Rainbow Glimmer paper in behind, I think. Yep, and then um, that Snowflake die from the Snowflake Splendor, Snowflake Wishes. And then this little skiing bunny. So cute! And then I'm using this bundle tonight. But I think you've seen me use that already. So let's get on to the crafting. You ready to see what I'm making? I did not, Megan. I don't know. I am. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, so are you ready to see what we're going to make? I'm only doing two projects tonight because that swap took a little bit of time and I knew it would. You want to see them up close? So the first one is that little treats bundle that I was just talking about. So I did the coffee. And I'm not going to tell you what's in here yet. Do you want to guess? I went and found some super cute treats. So remember, for those in Canada, if you place an order with me this week, you will get one of these. So what is these? This one. You don't have to guess this one. This one is a vanilla latte from Starbucks. And this, I just created a tiny little well skinny not tiny a little box and we're going to recreate both of those and tell me does this not scream coffee uh collar to you did you ever see the movie made of honor where um patrick dempsey was the creator of the coffee collar like the thing that protects your hands on a cup i just i thought that was so cute okay so do you want to guess what's in here we're going to start with that one because it's just so easy because it is the little treats bundle. There's one die. The only unfortunate thing is it doesn't fit in the case. So I just kind of keep it beside it. But the so one unfortunate thing aside from that is that um, you can't get more than one out of a sheet of cards. Excuse me, cardstock. So let's take a piece of early espresso. I'm working in early espresso and soft suede tonight. I think if you're working with a coffee suede, you have to have early espresso, right? So I'm going to trim this down to six inches. How many of you have this little treats bundle? <laughs> I will not, Jenny. <laughs> no way, Jose. I have two other samples to show you using this suite. So this was for my... Christmas in July bingo. So I used that ribbon that I was just talking about that is from the Halloween suite. I used the Feels Like Frost DSP. It's got a sea salt caramel Ghirardelli in there. You could fit two of them, but I could only find one package. And those things are expensive. And then the other one I made is empty, but it uses the red foil sheets from the red and green foil sheets and that uh, Peace and Joy bundle, and some cute DSP. Nice, Barb. I'd love to see what you're all making. Feel free to share your projects with me. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, so we're just gonna straightforward die cut this thing. I wish I could show you the new stamp and cut and emboss machine, but in Canada, the best they can do is two day delivery. So mine will be here before five tomorrow. Oops, took out my thin die adapter earlier. I knew I was gonna forget to put it back in. So how many of you watching are not coffee drinkers like me? Oh, Jenny, that's gonna be hard. I cannot quit drinking Diet Pepsi. It just doesn't seem to matter how many times I try. It's so weak. Ooh. gonna run it back through because I'm not sure I got the end of that. This stamp set does have a whole bunch of super cute things. There's that little spider, there's a gift, there's some rings, a Santa hat, some candies, uh, some ornaments, and let me show you. We 
just did mystery stamping in Pretty AF on the weekend and I used that little stamp and in hindsight I should have put these ornaments on here because they actually match there but look at the definition they're all embossed how cute oh how can you <laughs> yuck I drink tea but it's terrible since I've been working from home I don't think I've had tea more than once it's not socially acceptable to drink Diet Pepsi in the morning at work, but at home, there's no one here to judge me. Well, maybe my daughter, but I can live with it. So I do pop these things out. I don't have to, but I think at some point they would pop out. And one of my pet peeves, um, I see pictures of projects and when little bits of the die cuts aren't popped out, I'm secretly judging. I can't help it. I'll look at a picture like in the demonstrator group and I'm like, oh, you missed one. <laughs> it's not terrible. So the only thing you have to do with this is pop these little things in. And I like to pop them. I like having the tabs on the inside. And I think that's probably the way it's supposed to go. You could glue these closed, but then if you wanted to mail it, you're going to have to pay for the extra postage. But look how cute it is. And you don't need a belly band or anything because once you decide to tie it, that keeps it closed. You could glue this part. Like these would make great um, table favors, like baby shower, bridal shower, any kind of little favors. Oh, look at all these great drinks. <laughs> yes, Barb, we would. Um, back in the day, like I've been doing this for years, um, but I think hormones are changing now and menopause is not going to be nice. Um, I would go to Tim Hortons and I would get like a Coke Zero or Diet Pepsi. I've now gone to the Pepsi side. I used to be Coke Zero, but I don't know. Tastes have changed. And I would have like a raisin scone with a Diet Pepsi or a Coke Zero. And I would call it the Breakfast of Champions. Okay, no one's guessed what I put in there? No guesses? So the other thing in this sweet bundle is there are some great little die cuts. So with the scrap of early espresso, I am going to do one of these little tags. And then I'm going to bring in that brushed metallic um, cardstock that I was talking about. And I'm gonna use my favorite die from this bundle, which is this stitch little circle. It's the sweetest. So we'll do that. And then unfortunately there is no dies or punches for the coffee set, so we do have to fussy cut that. If you wanted to avoid fussy cutting it, just uh, stamp it on a circle or something, and then you don't have to. You could skip the coffee cup on the front. Initially, I was going to use this stitch circle on Whisper White, and I had stamped Especially For You, which is a sentiment from this set, and stamped some coffee beans, but it wasn't standing out enough. And I love this tag, but I haven't found a use for it yet. It's always just a little bit too short for what I want it for. Oh, but look, this spider has like a cute little pattern on it. Speaking of spiders, I want to show you, there's also cute little spider web in Banner Year. I don't think there's actually a spider in there, but there's the spider web. And then Have a Hoot has a super cute little web. Once you get past all the tags that I've cut, look at this. Haven't used it yet, but isn't that awesome? I think I'll use that for a pretty AF next week. Tiffany and I alternate weeks that we go live. Oh, yes, Linda. I, uh, I try, because I know not everyone loves fussy cutting. Some people, it's the other F word. Um, so for this, I'm going to use the plaid tidings. DSP. I think I'm going to use this one. 
and I'm not sure that I have enough. I basically just kind of eyeballed this and I think we're going to do it this way and I'll just cut down there so that we have enough. But someone guessed candy. I got the Werther's Caramel Coffee and I've said it how many times now, I don't like coffee, but these things are good. So they are, they're not really gold. I mean, I guess they could be, but they're gold and early espresso. And three of them fit just perfectly in here. Can you see them? Probably not, there's a bit of a shadow, but you'll see me put them in now. So we were out and I thought, hmm, I wanna get some coffee themed things. And I thought about doing a Keurig cup, but since I was showing you the swaps, I figured I'm just gonna do two. I will eventually get that bundle or the suite in the catalog that has the um, coffee cups. So I need to save some coffee themed projects for them, right? From the non coffee drinker. So we're doing about one and three quarters for this. I think it actually might be less than that. Yeah, one and three quarters pretty much covers the entire thing. So let's do one and five eighths. I have such a hard time reading this one. Take just a little bit off. There we go, because we still want to see some of that early espresso. Whew. Cheryl Lee, are you talking about the Werther's? Candies. You know what? I'm not going to figure that out again. I'm just going to cheat. Uh, so I don't know which country you're in. Probably the U.S. If so, I can't help you exactly, but I found mine at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. So for those of you in Canada that are watching me, that is where I got them. Both the treats actually for tonight's live. Get some glue. Eh. I think this paper, this plaid tidings is gonna be so popular. There's so many different colors. Um, if I pull out my DSP swatch thingy, you can see just how many colors are in this one. Well, look at that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen colors. Oh, Shirley, that's awesome. Yes, Shoppers Drug Mart had them. Oh, you know what, Jenny? I did see the sugar-free ones. They were just a little bit um, further away. <laughs> Megan, are we allowed to ship candy? I could ship you one. Yeah, so look at how many amazing colors are in this one. It's so fun. The document I held up is also a free download on my website. So that one is the DSP swatch. The cases are, um, like the ones I just showed you earlier, the ones that I just posted yesterday are the DSP case inserts. Okay, so that, there's no front or back. You can decide, like if you have glue that spills out or whatever, you can decide which side you want it in. So I popped these up on a couple of dimensionals and I found a trick watching a video yesterday. And you probably already know this, but I was pretty impressed. So I am using this gold trim. This is from that Wonder of the Season sweet. There's also the thinner one that comes with the Forever Greenery sweet. I think I'm going to do three fingers this time. And what I saw is usually I would use a glue dot to do this. Actually, I think I used the thinner one. I did. I used the thinner one under here and the thicker one there. But we're using the thick one now. So I'm just going to pull those ends just to change it so they're not all the same size but the thing I saw usually I would take a glue dot and pop it down and hope and pray that it stays this was a lot easier on the video um, but what they did was they put a piece of tear and tape on there and then you don't have to worry it's going anywhere 
that puppy's there for life. The one thing I will suggest is put the tear and tape on here. And you don't even have to pull the release paper off. You can just leave it like that. How smart is that? Just catching up. Oh, okay. Well, one of these days, one of these days we have to meet in person when Stampin' Up! is having like in-person events again. Um, but one of these days I will send you something. And I'll try and have, because I mean, I'm not going to eat all these, although they are good, even for non-coffee drinkers. That did not go on straight, but you're not judging, right? Just going to put a bit of glue on this one and glue that down. Get rid of that tear and tape. And now I think I'm going to use a different color of cardstock this time because I used the Very Vanilla because this was Early Espresso and Very Vanilla, but it didn't really stand out a lot, which is why I put that little like coffee collar on there was so that it was a different color. But what should we do? Should we do pumpkin pie, so saffron, or bumblebee as our mug? You tell me. Wouldn't it? I think that would be awesome. You are most welcome, Pam. I don't know what tip that was. Probably the um, tear and tape with the circles, right? Genius. I, I'm not taking no credit for it. So these little coffee candies just go in. You could probably squeeze them in so they fit perfectly, like sideways or whatever. But I'm just kind of putting them in so they're on an angle. There's three in there works wonderful wonderfully wonderful and then I'm taking from the is this the greenery one I want to say this is the greenery one no this is flowers flowers for every season is no this is the greenery one don't mind me I got these ones so late that I haven't had a lot of time to play cut that's what happens when you don't use your proper ribbon scissors. This is the flowers for every season, and I love that one too. Both of these are two of my favorites, but I've got so much ribbon uh, up here now in my open storage for Stampin' Up! that I'm now considering I need to get like a curtain rod and hang them that way because there's too many to fit, and I'm a little particular in that I like them in rainbow order because I'm less likely to forget about a ribbon if they're in the right order. Right to me. We all have our things, right? Okay, so then that, it, this one's so soft. It's like a dream. I'm just gonna take a little piece of this, that same gold trim that we used for our circles. And this is what will keep it closed if you don't wanna use any glue. You could certainly use glue or tear and tape to keep the sides from coming away from the middle. So I'm just gonna tie this and the gold trim that's part of the um, Forever Greenery, this one is the holiday, the August to December mini catalog. The other one frays a lot easier. This one, I frayed the ends just a little bit, but it took some effort so I'm just going to do very quickly right at the end just so it doesn't like taper off oh, well maybe so it does taper off so just get in there with your take your pick tool and dig those ends apart there that'll do so what color do we want the cup Saffron, pumpkin pie. Uh, Roxanne, are you talking about this dye? Like this? If so, it is the Little Treats bundle. It has a whole bunch of great dyes in there, but this is the star of the show with that little treat box. So it's Little Treats, and it's near the end of the catalog. And a must-have. Like, no, if ands or buts. We all need treat holders. 
Okay, I need a tiebreaker. We've got saffron and pumpkin pie. How about the first scrap that I find? We'll do that color. So we'll dig out the yellows and oranges. Kim, you got it. Sorry, Randy, you did not. Oh, but there is a little pumpkin pie. Let's see, we'll stamp it on both and see. So this is a photopolymer stamp set. There's so many great things in here and this is a million dollar sales stamp set and it's Joyce Ferraco, Ferraco. I'm so sorry, I don't know who that is. I know my Stampin' Up! peeps, but unfortunately that is one that I am not familiar with. So I'm sorry if I am saying it wrong. I am going to use soft suede to stamp the mug. Let me leave this so you can see it. So there's the mug with a the handle, there's the little to-go cup, there's coffee beans, there's a heart, there is this little strip of cups, like a line of them, and that's what I'm using on this one. So I'm going to stamp this on each of them. And we could forego the plaid and do one of the things, actually. That being said, I also want to stamp it on the plaid because I want to know where I have to cut it. That didn't really help. I've got an additional line now, though. <laughs> okay. Paper scissors. Ooh, that's a close crop. When I'm fussy cutting, I don't usually go that close. And this is a fairly easy fussy cut. I mean, other than that little handle, everything else is straight. Okay, so I will pull you in a minute once I've got these both cut to see which cup you like better on here. Thank you, Randy and Kim, for your suggestions. Whoa. Are we back? My feed totally froze there. Too many people on the Wi-Fi, methinks. Are we back, Linda? You're back. Okay, good. I hope I wasn't gone for long. I know my iPad just kind of stopped. So, okay, I'm back. So, pumpkin pie, so saffron. Which one? My iPad isn't coming back up. Okay, let me hold it up. So there's so saffron. Pie. And then here is pumpkin pie or pie. Yeah, I think I'm with you. I I love the look of the so saffron with this paper, but I think because of the brushed metallic back there, it's not standing out enough. So, I'm going to add a little bit lids not on there. Add a little bit of glue on here and then we'll pop this mug up just to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna go have to have to go kick some people off the Wi-Fi I think. That's probably uh, I tend to do overkill on my dimensionals because I hate to see things dipping down when they should be popped up. Another pet peeve. You're getting all my pet peeves tonight. Okay, so you just want to place it on there so that you can still see some of that brushed metallic. Isn't it pretty? Aw, oh, thanks for all the hearts. Okay, I want to know, which one do you like better? The plaid tidings? Well, this, uh, which one is this? This is that Gilded Autumn paper. Both have those coffee chocolates. Um, so... 
if you place an order with me this week, you will get one of these for free, either one of these or one of these. And I am, uh, I'm going to apologize off the hop because I did not write down the dimensions for this, but I'm pretty sure I remember what they are because it was pretty easy. But let me show you my process for this. Sorry, Kim, I'm getting rid of the So Saffron mug. Okay, we need a piece of soft suede that is, we're gonna, uh, I'll cut another piece. We need to keep the 11 inches. So these, let me show you. I still can't get my comments back up. Am I back on here? Where am I? Stamped AF is live now. Okay, we're back. So this is the Via Instant and with these little panels here, it is two and a quarter inches. These really bend down easily, but I wanted to keep it so that it just fit in there properly. This would be a great gift for teachers or anyone, any coffee drinkers in your life. So it's just a little pocket. And I thought about doing, um, if you saw last year, I did these cute little wicked boxes and it was for Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. And I had ribbon that went through and when you pulled up the ribbon, the thing would come out. You could definitely do that, but it wasn't necessary because this comes up. But you will notice I've got a little bit of uh, an early espresso band here. It's because the paper isn't long enough. So if you have 12 by 12, that should work. But we need two and a quarter and two and a quarter. So that's four and a half. And then I've got an eighth of an inch on either side. So the way that my mind works is I did my two and a quarter and then I add an eighth. So I'm just doing it along here. So actually let's go two and a quarter and then two and a quarter. So that's four and a half right there. And then we're adding on two eighths or a quarter. So we need it to be four and three quarter inches. Wait, that's not right because we're going to length. Um, we need it, nix that, see, sorry. <laughs> I did not write it down. So we need two and a quarter and then we need another quarter for the two sides. So it is two and three quarters. That makes more sense. And then in, in the middle, so to speak, half, we know that half of an 11 inch sheet is five and a half because that's what we do our top folding card bases at. So I'm going to go to five and a half, but I'm going to go another eighth. So we are five and five eighths. We're gonna score it there. And then we're going to go come an eighth back. So now we're five and three eighths and we're gonna score there. I'm sorry to get eighths of an inch involved. And now we're gonna do our eighth of an inch on either side. And if you want the written instructions for this, let me know. I don't have anything together. I've just kind of got it in my head, but I can write down the dimensions. So the only thing we need to do here is just cut these. And I didn't even notch them. I just cut them. You could notch them. And then this is the basis of our box. We want to fold these sides down. You can use your bone folder or you can skip it. It's up to you. Now, before we glue this together, I want to do some stamping. So I'm not going to glue it yet because it will make my stamping a little trickier. So now we need a little piece that is early espresso. And I'm pretty sure this piece is already cut somewhere. So we're doing the same two and a quarter with the eighth inch on either side. So if you want those dimensions, it is, wait a minute. I don't think that's right. Nope, that one's too wide. Okay, we're gonna cut a little bit off of this. So it needs to be, I think it was two and three quarters, yes. So let's take this off. And then we're gonna do our eighth of an inch score on either side. 
And like I said, I apologize. I didn't write down all these dimensions because I was kind of sitting in front of the TV and doing this. So now what I want to do is I want to cut this down to two inches. So we're going to take that quarter inch off. This is just a scrap. And then we're going to score it at one inch. So line it up at one inch, one inch on either side and just score down the middle. It can be tricky. You don't want it to move. Actually, no, sorry. We're not scoring it. We're cutting it. Now I'm all kinds of mixed up. So this is the bones of our little box. Now we're going to do some stamping. And because I've already stamped on this piece, we're just going to use that. So I want to get this row of cups, which are just so cute. And I don't want to have it so that it's the same cups going all the way down. I'm going to offset it a little bit. And I am again using soft suede. So what I'm going to do is ink it up and I'm not stamping right over. So forgive me if you see my head or they're crooked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it so that I've got the one with the heart on that side. And then I'm going to come in, ink up the other side and go like that so that I don't have this heart coming all the way down. Now I can do the heart in the middle. So I hope that makes sense. I just didn't want to have that same repeating pattern the whole way down. But you can do like every third row is just the straight full stamp. That makes sense. And isn't this set just so cute? Like I said, even for someone that's not a coffee drinker, this set is going to be a must have. At least in my opinion. Okay, so there is our box. I'm not going to bother doing the bottom. I'll clean that off later. And now I'm going to take my little one inch pieces and I'm going to stamp some coffee beans. I have to switch to early espresso because that's the color of cardstock I'm using. Take our coffee beans. Who else has missed the coffee cafe set? I wish that was actually part of my starter kit three years ago and I wish that one was never going to go away. But also once the DSP retired, it wasn't the same. That was um, maybe I'm biased because it was my first experience with Stampin' Up, but that DSP was amazing. Hi, Debbie. Um, Debbie, can you do me a favor and message me not don't post it on here, but um, send me a messenger or an email with your address. I've got a card that I would like to send you. Please and thank you. Okay, so there's our little coffee beans. You can be a little more careful to get no gaps in the middle there, but I wasn't that careful. Close that up. We are going to need this again because I'm doing the coffee beans on this little piece. But now what I'm going to do is just put a little run of Tombow right at the top there and that is where our little band is going to go on. So just line up the score lines. And it's just so that you can't see like all the way down to here. Because if this piece wasn't on there, it's, this is what you see. And I mean it's cute, but I just wanted that little bit of the coordinating color to show. Okay, so there's our little band. Have to get creative when you don't have 12 by 12 cardstock. Whoops. Can't say I've ever ordered the 12 by 12. Even of the Whisper White, I always stick to my letter size. So now what we can do is we can add a little bit of glue to these two little tabs and then decide which is the front and which is the back. If you have a little boo-boo on one side, then make that the back. <laughs> I think I'm going to make this my back. So I'm going to put it on the outside. I'm going to run that glue on both sides and then make sure these little tabs are on the inside so that when we fold it, 
the glue to this piece. Thank you, Donna. Sorry, I know you probably can't see very much right now. But you wanna let those set for a few seconds and then just close that down and make sure that they're lining up. I need to fold that piece a little more. And now just set a block or something on that so it can sit and set. Sit and think about what it's done. You can use tear and tape here too. Whoopsie. Instead of liquid glue, which is going everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. I may have to add more glue to that. It's easier to do when you don't have a camera in your way. My glue is starting to dry. Tombow does have cement in it, so once it starts to set, it's not going anywhere. But you may have to kind of hold it where you want it until it does start to set. And one of the best ways to get it to do what you want is put that piece in there, and then it doesn't flatten. Oh, that's why. I'm telling you, this was a lot easier before. Hi, Shelly. You have two packages. Nice. Once it retired, I had to give it away. Okay, so there is like the bones of our box. I was able to sit and hold it the last time. <laughs> okay, so the next part, we are going to use the Hippo and Friends dies. Just gonna keep hanging on to this. And I used the middle one of these. These. My kids will be like, Mom, can I have this? Can I have these? I'm like, what is these? So I'll die cut one of those whilst still holding this. <laughs> I've been watching too much Friends again. Whilst. Who else loves these Hippo and Friends dies? Aren't they the best? Okay. It's not as smooth as the last one was. You can shake it to redistribute your powder. And you could just leave it like that, but that wouldn't be much of a stamping project, would it? Well, I mean, we've got stamping there. Um, so now I'm going to take the... Hope your day is full of perks, and I'm just going to line it up in there. But because I am embossing on dark cardstock, I'm going to use my embossing buddy. The gold, and you know that I don't like to do heat embossing when I'm live, but sometimes I just have to. So get ready to mute me for a minute. We're just going to ink that up. And you could put it a little bit lower. I just wanted it to fit nicely within this little space and then I can do the coffee beans everywhere else. Okay, heat gun is going on, so you've been warned. <laughs> Roxanne, what are the rubber bands? Probably missed something. Oh, <laughs> good idea. Okay, so 
that is our embossing done. And I actually just used Versamark the last time, but since I still have early espresso out and the coffee beans are still inked with early espresso, let's do that. And again, I'm just gonna scatter them. Now, when I did this the first time, because I was using Versamark, I put beans everywhere. Not sure I'm gonna do that with using Versamark. I mean, early espresso. I don't want them to change the look of my embossing. Let's give it a go. <laughs> what have we got to lose, right? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And then every now and then I'm gonna put just one little bean or part of a bean. <laughs> okay. So now I have my faux suede trim. Yes, Carolyn, by all means. I'm using the faux, faux bleh, 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 the faux suede trim because it matches so perfectly. It is the only early espresso ribbon we have. And I'm gonna take this out and just along the front here, I'm gonna put a piece of tear and tape. And I'm gonna pop that off. Thank you, Carolyn. This was the first one. We've got some caramel coffee Werther candies in here. So this one, I'm just going to, I don't wanna to have too much here. And this part's gonna be hidden. The tear and tape is just a little bit too wide to hide all of it. I mean, the ribbon is a little too narrow to hide all of it. So we're gonna cut that. And now we'll pop a few dimensionals on the back of this. And I just did one in each corner. Who am I? I always use more dimensionals than that. We don't need one in the middle because this ribbon is kind of thick and we'll pop it up. Guess what time I finished making these projects for tonight? This just fits on here, but you want a tiny bit hanging off of each side. And by a tiny bit, I mean like a sixteenth of an inch. Wasn't bad enough, I got eighths involved. Now I'm doing sixteenths. <laughs> okay, now all we have left is our to-go cup, which I'm going to do on soft suede, which I just got rid of. 1 a.m. What's all the time? Yes, Jenny, you have a good night. Oh, <laughs> what time I finished. <laughs> um, no, uh, I have been staying up way too late, but I finished these at probably 5.45, which is not bad considering that when I got off at four o'clock today, I had to go and pay my car insurance and then come home and do this. So not too shabby, I will say. Now I need a little piece of crumb cake and this top piece, I think I'm gonna use white this time, but I did use a little scrap of the World of Good DSP just because I had a tiny little piece hanging around. So if I have another tiny little piece hanging around, I will use that, but I don't think I do. I've used a lot of this paper. Let's just use, um, very vanilla because I have a piece here. So when you wanna do some paper piecing with this, just stamp what you need and you're gonna cut it out. So there we've got our mug, here we've got our lid, and then I want a piece of crumb cake for the middle. So I just need, I'll ink up the whole thing, but I just need that little band on there. Close this up, cover on the clots, and now we can cut them out. 
And for this piece, I actually cut off the ink. Truth be told, I actually cut that piece behind another piece. I had a piece of um, early espresso, I think. So we'll use that side so that we don't have any ink showing. I will do... <laughs> yes, Melanie, I could too. Well, maybe not coffee, but... After all that I've said tonight, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Okay, so for this, you're just going to follow the lines. And I tend to stay, I guess, about a sixteenth of an inch away from the line. Like I said, if the cardstock's getting in your way, just cut it off. And the only part that I cropped right up to the line was for the lid because I didn't want that other part of the cup showing. So there's our lid, there's our collar. Now we're just gonna cut out the whole thing. And I'm gonna cut close for the lid and then we'll go back to our like 16th of an inch away for everything else. <laughs> A cozy. See, and I think of coffee collar because of the movie Maid of Honor. But when I used to knit and crochet, I did make coffee cup cozies, so I should know that. Okay, I'm going to cut that little piece off this time. And I know this seems like probably more effort than it's worth to do this little bit of embossing, but look how stinking cute it is like that versus if we just do it like this. I would say I could compare, but once I've got it on there, I'm not going to be able to do that. And this is um, the cutest little embossing folder. This is part of that coffee suite, the heartwarming hugs. And if you placed an order with me last week for my anniversary sale, and if you spent 60 or more, you got these embossing folders for free. And I had a few people actually that purchased the, um, if you did 150, you got all three levels of the rewards that I was offering. So there are a few lucky ladies that are getting all three levels. So they will be getting those wrapped in texture embossing folders. They will be getting the black glitter paper and they will be getting the Christmas means more and the jingle bells. And I think there's a few of you watching. Thank you for watching, Megan. You have a great rest of your week. Oh, that's awesome, Linda. Um, for those of you that are watching that did place an order with me last week, those um, rewards went into my order yesterday. So they will be here tomorrow. And I will let you know and we'll, I'll get them to you or you will come and pick them up. <laughs> okay, that's probably a little bit more glue than we needed. But this is our paper pieced coffee cup. I do wish there were dies for these, but I, I have a feeling this one's not going to stick around very long. So make sure you get it during this catalog period. making some of those edges a little bit softer. So look how stinking cute this is. And then I think I'm gonna put this a little bit higher up because there was quite a bit of room between where the cup went and where the sentiment started. And soften this piece a little bit too. I'm just gonna glue this part and then put one dimensional, desk is a mess, at the bottom. but this dimensional is gonna determine how high up it goes or not. So let's take it off because that is why I couldn't go higher that time. Let's just put glue on the whole thing. Okay, there we go. So now we can put our via in there. And I did think about doing like a little thumb hole and some ribbon on here, but I thought it's just so cute. And the only unfortunate thing is you don't see more of that suede trim, but if you turn it over and feel it, I mean, it's there. So 
that is all for tonight. I hope that you love those projects. Whoopsie, just dropped on my blocks. Um, I was gonna say, even from a non-coffee drinker, there are a million different ways that you can use this set. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to share, come back and tell me you've shared, and you will be entered to win my little ribbon swap from the annual catalog for next week. Okay, so you all have a wonderful week, and we'll see you soon. Bye.